Hey guys, Ben Pearson of the Rooster Tracker here. Um, long story short, I decided intentionally to skip an episode for a couple of reasons. Basically, I went out exploring. The whole goal was to set up a new radar site somewhere in this vicinity and to tap these two geysers. And while I was going there, I found that there was a hard drive up here and I fell down. And I might be able to do this. I fell down and died because I fell down and I my chest was left in this weird little void. I don't know how I fell down there, but um, I had to cheat it in. So yeah, I decided ultimately to skip that because I spent half an hour just trying to figure out where the chest was. And it wasn't very interesting. So I figured the 10 minutes of me exploring were easier to do without. I could probably chop an episode and do something like that, but meh. We're just gonna go up. Uh, thought I could make that. Yeah, it was all kinds of nasty because, you know, the death with all these poison guys. And I swore that I was lower, so I was really, really confused. But... We made it. That's the important bit. Hmm. Little stubby eyes. Um... There was a lot of interesting odds and ends around here. But now we're blowing these guys up and we can actually kind of see them properly. Yeah, I'm gonna have to get rid of an item or two that we're carrying. So I originally came up here just by floating and it was a little tricky, but we made it work. Finding this was not easy, to say the least. Iron ore. Oh, one thing that's cool. This little structure here, there was a whip here. Uh, not trying to collect them, but it was kind of annoying, and yeah. But we did not get the hard drive. So, the hard drive needs power. And I was waiting until I got all my stuff. I had even imagined, because I had fallen from here, I'd wondered if uh, it might be up here somehow, but it was not. Okay, can easily open this. <clears throat> uh, what to toss, I guess, the leaves? Yeah, that's probably the easiest thing. Leaves are not particularly valuable. So, looks like we're coming to the edge of the map again. Um, the hot springs is in this area. Just based on the way the map's looking though, I don't anticipate it's going to go that much further than here. So let's build our power lines to the hot springs. Like I had originally intended. And... They're in this direction. There is another hard drive right there, I can see. Well, let's just go down. Yee. We should be able to pull in just at the last second, good. Um, just trying to decide if there's a better path or we should just... Well... We're heading in this direction, right? Yeah, let's go fly here. I had started to just circle around to figure out where this thing was because it was really painful to see. I could tell we were close, but you know, ultimately I just had to point straight up and it started dinging. I'm like, okay.
Let's go to our radar mode. Nope, out of range. All right. So as I record this, I have finally gotten my precious, which is the uh, Zelda Breath of the Wild sequel, which is of course called Tears of the Kingdom, not Breath of the Wild. Um, it's pretty cool so far. Holy moly. Let's switch to the gun. That guy was nasty. Uh, that's a four, so pretty powerful, but not super powerful. I'm still trying to decide what I think of the game. Um, the start is kind of feeling slow. So my wife's playing it right now, and honestly, I found that as much as I'm excited to play the game, I still Two hours was enough for the intro. Let's see. This is very similar to how the last one was, so we're just going to slowly work our way up through these power poles. Looks good. Uh, it's over here. Let's just take this all the way. Oops. Should see some critters up here. We almost always see critters near the crash sites. Do we not actually see any critters? Wow. Two hard drives. It's been a while since we've collected any, so it's nice to have a couple. Uh, the screws, we're not going to take. Wire. Yeah, okay. Let's see, you got some motors. What else is there around here? Uh, just some miscellaneous garbage, okay. So let's see here. Hot springs are still they're roughly dead ahead. Well that is a huge fall. Hmm. I think we were able to see this a lot better from higher up. Yep, that is the waterfall. Wow. This will be cool to go over. Hopefully. Yeah. I'm not seeing. Okay, there's one. Possible ledge. Uh oh. Ooh boy. Um, we just need to somehow anywhere. There we go. That should be good. And then let's see here. Keep working our way down. Keep working it. Is there is something in here? It looks like a cave, maybe? Ooh, fancy.
Hmm. Looks like a radioactive cave. So I'm pretty sure that was uh, uranium. Boy, micella. Okay, looking fine. Let's just uh, put some power lines so that we can float back up. Don't know what we're looking for in here. There's definitely some radioactive lips. Okay, so far so good. I hate spiders in this game. Mm. So we've got a slug in there. Purple one. Uh, not enough space, of course. So let's go ahead and just set down a chest. And we will process the slug and we will have space. So let's see here. Radio control units. And then we need a craft bench. Could process all the meat, but I don't think that's going to get us much. We are actually starting to use our shards a little bit more than we had been for a long time. Yeah, I didn't think I had any space. Um, what else is there to say about life? Oh, well, life is lifey. about all there is to say. Um, yeah. Some more uranium, but no mines. Well, hang on. There is uranium. Yeah, that's a mining site. Okay. That's going to be annoying. Uh, <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, if we're going to have any chance at all, we're going to need our jet pack. We don't have any turbo fuel, do we? We'll need this. All we have is turbo fuel. We don't have the normal fuel. Um, let me just Google something real quick. Uh, satisfactory turbo fuel in jet pack. Doesn't currently work with turbo fuel or liquid. You, you think it would. But alas, it does not. Well, that's too bad. So... Hmm, all we can really do is take iron then. We'll take the inhalers because we'll need them. We'll probably use a lot of them. Uh, let's take a bag of concrete and 
Let's take a thing of iron plates. So that will allow us to build wherever we need to go and we should have a fairly easy time to get back in the general vicinity of where we were going. So what train is this? Probably not the one we want to go on, but... Yep, this is Motors. Motors is not gonna cut it. Is there any other train close? Nope. Okay, so we go to the Plano Bay. Wish we had more regular trains going through, but... Okay. Not gonna pick those up. We have too many of those. So that's not the hypertube that we're looking for. We're just gonna take it uh, down here. We'll catch the next stop. I'll take berries. We can process those. Make some more inhalers. There's our drone hub for eventual domination uh, looks like our industrial beam production has gone way up and we have storage good 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 okay next stop is definitely one we're gonna take because they get pretty boarding after this this is all still kind of part of our main base at this point in time. We're on the fringes. Yeah, we should use more of this fuel. Hmm. Oh well. Well, how are we gonna do this? So it's in the waterfall cave. The spiders are such a pain to kill. Just kind of want a nuke. I think that must be what the nukes are for to get rid of the spiders. My wife would probably approve of that. She hates spiders. I told her there were spiders in this game and they could jump around and do all kinds of nasty stuff and uh, she th this thoroughly convinced her probably not only to never uh, play this game but probably never watch anybody play this game including myself so yeah. That's okay. We each have our own type of games. They combine with Zelda though. We're both fans of the Zelda series of games. Um, we will need some fuel, so we're gonna go all the way and pick up a package of fuel. Uh, we don't need probably a ton. Oh, I didn't even use that jetpack. Never mind. If I thought through it though, I would have realized that uh, we had to go here, so we may as well. Mm. Let's just see if there's any little tweaking that we can do to improve things. We would like to use more plastic and rubber. So there may be some small tweaks that we can do that will help with that. And we have a whole bunch of circuits. Uh, one of these is just batteries, right? I think computer, we're gonna call this a uh, circuit. Okay, Cir circuit batteries. 
brown port. So all we have is the iron, so we're going to just use standard iron. That's fine. Uh, let's uh, just kill this off real quick. And then we're going to put a splinter. Oh, we need some cables if we're going to do that. Well, we have uh, cables here, maybe even. Okay. I'll put what we've got in here momentarily. Okay, so this was just a standard already. Okay, so we're gonna go feed you into there. And then from here, you are going to feed into there. Then we're gonna go stick whatever cables we have in here. And we have some other random garbage, but that's fine. So this is going to start, uh, we'll store some of these circuits here. Oh yeah, we should stick what circuits we got in there too. Now let's store them in here actually. So we'll be distributing some circuits around. <clears throat> It'll be fine. All right, what's next? Yeah, that will help to consume considerably more plastic. You can already see that the uh, tubes are, or the quick wire is in high demand. I always get a little bit anxious doing that particular transition, so. That's what that little pause was. Okay. We're now almost, almost out of our, I mean, our factory has actually gotten bigger, hasn't it? We should have a train line that goes to somewhere around here eventually, but the drones are just so convenient. I, the trains are a pain to install, but they're so nice once they're there and working well. Mm, let's dump the leaves that we have here. Whoop, not. We're dumping, not taking. Why do we walk out with more cement than we came in with? Oh, that's funny sometimes how it works. Cool. Anywho, along we go. We really gotta stop dying. I need to just take that simple, simple advice. Stop dying. Really, the critters are just annoying in the game. I could rewire this. I keep threatening to do that, but yeah. We're gonna go follow this line at least until the nitrogen and then we should be able to take a decent path down. Oh, I think I forgot to mention this at the beginning of the episode. So that chest was hidden in there. I found a save game editor and I just moved the chest a few feet so that way it was within my reach. I hated to do that. It feels wrong, but you know, cheating when you find a bug in the game to overcome the bug is not really wrong, right? So, yeah. Still aren't really 
quite up to the aluminum capacity that I would like to see. The casing. Uh, we will have mines mark three. We could uh, double again that production, and maybe we will. Probably not the worst idea in the world. Went a little bit too high. This is our aluminum refinery, so. There are gaps. Is this some? Well, that's a Mark III. There should be a few gaps. That's good. But we're processing full speed. That's the important bit. Okay, we're vaguely heading in the direction of our crate now. That's a good sign. Now pretty much straight at it. Uh oh. It's never a fun sign to hear one of those when you don't have anything. Oh dear. Um, okay. Let's just board this. We'll start heading a little bit more to the right here soon. Okay, so this is where we found the hard drive. The second one. We're getting fairly close. The waterfall is not too far away. So we're going to have to actually go past the crate a bit because we have to find a way to build down to the waterfall cave of uranium madness. Trademark. Okay, I think this is the waterfall. Yeah, okay, so let's just build platforms that extend a little ways beyond the edge. Okay. Now, I'm going to go two more. And then we're going to start stair-stepping down. That looks good. Let's see here. Mm. Uh, let's go down to about there and then I think we can just build it horizontally across. Or at some point in time. Let's say maybe here. Okay, this wasn't too terrible. We still gotta figure out how to get our stuff from those nasty spiders, but... I think they heard me talking about them. I heard that growl. I don't know if you guys heard that. Um... Yeah, where exactly is our crate? It's down there. Let's go ahead and... Build their way out. We'll need, we may need some kind of an escape. Okay. Where's the crate? There it is. Really? 
Well, radiation will hurt. Oh dear. Um, okay. I'm using these inhalers faster than we did. Destruction, that's worthy of use. Shoot. See, that's the thing. If you don't have a weapon, then these things are really, really annoying. And you don't really want to build more weapons, so it just seems silly. That was a wasted inhaler shot, but that's okay. We have plenty. In fact, using more of them is probably going to make our life a little bit easier. There's the chest. gonna do hmm I don't know what the right solution is here <clears throat> I mean we're doing okay so far oh there's our chest so we're not gonna Dag gum. <sighs> so he at least made it there. Ah! We should take the further back chest, and that will have our gear. Yep, now we get to play Find the Chest version 102. Um, at least we have a pathway built down there. Tell you what guys, I'm just going to take this offline. I'll figure out how to get this chest. Uh, thank you guys much for joining me. Let me know whatever questions or comments you guys have. And until next time, keep on tracking. Take care, we'll see you then.